Think of the name Lurson and some of the largest super yachts in the world spring to mind. From Dilbar to Azam, and from Rising Sun to Project Shu, the yachting world continues to gasp in amazement as each of these feats of design and engineering hits the waves. Recently, though, Lurson reminded everybody that they are so much more than just a new yacht builder when they announced that they shall be refitting the 110 meter super yacht Jubilee. I was so excited when they invited me to come here to Bremen, Germany to meet them and then to take me to Hamburg to take a look at their refit facilities and to report back to you. If I thought that a 110 meter super yacht like Jubilee would dominate the landscape in this shipyard, I was much mistaken. This place is huge. In 2016, Lursen acquired the mighty Blommen Voss shipyard in Hamburg in a deal of such scale and national importance, it had to be approved by the German Fair Trades Commission. This shipyard is rich in history, being founded in 1877 when they specialized in the construction of steel hulled warships. The beautiful old red brick building that served as the first office buildings for the company is still in use here. But my eye was drawn to a new structure that appeared to be in construction behind the new office buildings to my right. I walked over to take a look. Well, I was completely wrong. What I thought was a large office block being constructed is actually Octopus, a 126 meter long super yacht with a volume of almost 10,000 gross tons. That yacht can take three helicopters. It has its own helicopter hangar and it's here in one of Lurson's six floating docks on this facility to have a refit and maintenance work done. Now, the plastic that you can see over the top of the scaffolding, that's not just there to protect the workers and the boat from the elements. That's actually three layers of insulation so that work can be carried out in a temperature controlled environment. From where Octopus lay, I walked over to take a look inside one of the many covered buildings distributed throughout the facility. Here, freshly painted in Lurson colours, was a selection of specialised machinery for ship and yacht building, including this remarkable turning machine that can be used for propeller shafts of up to 15 metres in length. While I was there, the huge propeller shafts and propellers of Octopus itself were being checked and balanced. Still no sign of Jubilee though, so I continued my tour of the shipyard, hoping to catch a glimpse of her. This is a huge area to get around and it's little wonder that many of the workers here choose to use bicycles. Something that I decided would be a good idea for me too. I had been told that Jubilee had been tied up over by Dock 16, so I pedalled over in that direction, where I found another historic building called the Lotzenhoft. This house was used by the founders of Blomenvoss in the 1800s to host important clients, who they could wine and dine on the terrace overlooking Hamburg's splendid skyline. Lurson staff tell me that from time to time it's still used for hospitality events. Apparently, I had just missed Jubilee though. She had previously been located in this area of the shipyard, but has now been moved to a covered dock so that work can get started. Now I'm told that Jubilee has been moved from her dock into a covered dock over on that side of the facility, but I want to give you an idea of the scale of the operation here. Inside that floating dock, 
there was a soupy otter of over 135 meters long. And over here, over here, that, that is where the Bismarck was launched. Over the bridge between the huge slipway for launching ships and the equally huge dock that makes a 93 meter soup yacht look relatively small, there are two more covered docks. I took a look inside one of them and found what must surely be the yacht I was looking for, a vast soup yacht undergoing work inside the protection of this covered dock. Except for that is not Jubilee. That is the amazing 85 meter Larsen soup yacht Solange that's coming to the end now of a maintenance and refit period so that it can go back out in plenty of time for the summer season. Solange is actually on the charter market so it's especially important that the work gets carried out on time. On refits such as Solange the crew play a vital role in the success of the work. Larsen effectively absorb key members of the crew into their workforce giving them office space and all the support they need for an efficient working environment. The crew are in close contact with Larson's project manager, but of course, they also enjoy a very unique relationship with the owner, so they can ensure that the work is being done in exactly the way that it's expected. There was one more covered dock though that I hadn't yet inspected. In this immense covered dock lies Jubilee. 110 meters long, Igor Lobanov designed, not actually built originally by Larson, but moved here to start an extensive refurbishment period that is expected to take about 12 months from beginning to end. Sadly though, I had arrived too late to get a glimpse of her. The doors are now closed to the public on this project and she shall re-emerge in about a year when her refit is completed. Larson are, quite rightly, fiercely protective of their clients' privacy and in fact at this time very little is known about what work will be done to the yacht. For me I felt honoured just to be able to get so close to her and to get an idea of the truly astonishing capacity that Larson have for undertaking projects of this scale. There are not many places big enough to hide a 361 foot long white and blue super yacht. Now, whilst it was amazing to see so many huge yachts located around the facility in Hamburg, Larson were very keen to remind me that they do also undertake smaller projects. It was like listening to a chef who's famous for arranging huge gala dinners, but reminding you, he also enjoys intimate dining events. As a matter of fact, Larson recently announced that they shall be building a 54 meter yacht called Project 13800. And at the time, Peter Larson, who's the managing partner of the company, stated to the press that whilst it is fantastic that they've built so many truly enormous super yachts, their core business remains yachts from 50 to 80 meters in length. Well, the refit services that Larson offer are also a key part of their business and they're offered to yachts that don't have to be as big as the ones we've looked at today. There's no doubt they have the space available for yachts of all different sizes. There's no doubt they have the expertise and the machinery necessary to do all kinds of maintenance, refit, refurbishment and repair work. And I can't help thinking that to be able to say that your yacht was refit at Larson would make any owner feel extremely proud. <laughs>